Hey guys, welcome back to another Default Cube CG Matter tutorial, and today we're doing something super simple, but it's going to save me a lot of time in the future because I'm not going to have to explain this over and over and over again. I can just reference people to this tutorial, and what is this thing that I keep talking about? Uh, well, it's going to be converting video, uh, like this video, into an image sequence, which is important if you're doing motion tracking or something like this. So we're going from a video file to a sequence of images. Uh, each image is a frame uh, of this video. So let's uh, play this video. It's, uh, you know, footage of me looking like a gangster on the porch. Uh, we deserve no less uh, for this tutorial. So this is the footage we're going to be using, converting it into an image sequence. And uh, to incentivize me, to incentivize me, I'm going to be eating this pizza after I'm done. That's not important for this tutorial, but I thought you might want to know. Okay, cool. So how do we do this? Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to open up Blender. And yes, you can do this conversion in FFmpeg. I don't know why people keep asking me to do it that way. This is a Blender tutorial channel. So let's convert it with Blender. So what we're going to do is with Blender open, you can either go you know, to the video editing workspace by uh, opening up a new workspace, video editing, and going here, um, which is fine. But uh, when we do this, you're going to have to also set color management to standard instead of uh, filmic. Uh, so instead, what I recommend is you hit Control N for a new file and use the video editing uh, default file. This is going to, uh, first of all, put us in the right place. But second of all, uh, Render tab, Color Management, uh, it's already set to standard, uh, which is nice because normally we'd have to do this ourselves. Okay, cool. Uh, next step is import in your footage, which is necessary before we convert it. And my desktop is a mess, so I named it something nice, footage in all capitals. Boom. Uh, for the people unfamiliar, this is the video sequencer. Even though it's called video editing workspace, this is the video sequencer editor. And uh, this strip right here is our footage. And the bottom strip right here is our um, audio that, you know, goes in tandem with this. So we can just delete that. We don't need it. Okay, next thing is you're going to notice our start point is here. And our end point for the project is here, frame 250, which, you know, it's, it's premature. There is one way to say that. It's early uh, if you want to have the whole footage. So if we just rendered it out right now, it's just going to trim it effectively. We're going to chop off this end. Uh, but if you don't want that, we can just take this end point and make it a bit higher. So it actually matches the end of the footage. And if you're wondering, you know, how many frames is this? Is it 422, 450? Uh, well, it's actually written right here, 473. Although I have found that the last frame or two, because I film with my phone is a bit weird, is usually an empty frame. So here's the last frame. You can see it's empty. So sometimes you have to go one back or two back. Um, here we go. It's two back in my case. This is just a frame rate uh, issue, which is part of the reason you want to convert into an image sequence. Uh, so stuff like this doesn't happen ever. Uh, but you can see that um, probably the reason this happened is when we imported in our footage, it actually automatically uh, shows the frame rate of our footage. And it's, you know, 59.68, which is not a normal thing. It's not 60. It's not 59.94. 59.68, which means that over the course of the footage, there's going to be a frame or two lost uh, there because it's going at a, you know, non-conventional frame rate. So that's why that was an issue. And uh, part of converting this into an image sequence makes it frame rate independent. So we no longer need this number, although it is nice to know that it was originally filmed at nearly 60. Okay, cool. So once you have, uh, you know, everything set up, uh, again, you could trim this. You could also trim the beginning. It doesn't have to start uh, over here. But uh, once you've chosen what you want, all we have to do is choose our um, export settings. So output tab. And here, you just kind of select what kind of file you want. Um, all these, all these image formats are fine. Uh, it can be a PNG sequence. This is useful for when you have an alpha channel. In this case, we don't, but it, it, it is still good in terms of compression and all this. Uh, JPEG is something you probably know, but it compresses it quite a bit. So you lose a lot of quality if you're fine with that JPEG. And then we have all the crazy ones like OpenEXR, TIFF, whatever. So what I like to do is I use PNG. We do not need the alpha channel in this case. There's no transparency. Everything's opaque, so RGB. I then uh, take the compression down to zero, although this is personal preference. So again, uh, in this case, it's a PNG sequence. You could have it be a JPEG sequence, whatever. And then just set an output directory. For me, that's going to be the desktop. Create a folder, calling it um, best tutorial ever folder. That's where we're going to save it. And a normal convention for something like this is you give it a name, like sequence or you know, my sequence or whatever, and then you add an underscore. And that is because it's going to add in some uh, indexing afterwards. So that's why we add the underscore. But it will 
uh, work otherwise. You don't have to do this. Quick accept and then go to uh, render and render animation, although I don't know what kind of loser <laughs> actually clicks it. Uh, you just use the shortcut control F12. And this is gonna pretty much render directly from the video sequencer. You know, it doesn't really matter if we have a lot of stuff in our uh, 3D viewport. It's just basically gonna use, I don't wanna say it's using Eevee. It's kind of a strange way to look at it, but it's just kind of pulling directly from the uh, video sequencer. And you can see it's progressing pretty quickly and you'd expect this because all it's doing is taking each frame and just writing it as its own image. And this is just gonna keep going on and on and on, although I believe it was a uh, 471 frames. So I'm just gonna stop it here, which means that it did actually render all those frames. We just didn't let it finish. And now if we look at the uh, folder I made, you can see this has now been converted into, you know, a sequence of images, right? Again, we'd need to let it finish, but uh, again, once you're done with this, you can uh, pretty much close this. We're not using it again. And then um, whenever you need to import it in, you know, maybe you're doing some tracking in the movie clip editor, you just click open, uh, go to your directory and just select the whole sequence. And now we've imported this in as a sequence and it plays normally. We can choose the frame rate to be whatever we want and it will still play. Of course, if we choose a frame rate like 24, it's going to look like it's in slow motion because originally it wasn't 60, but there's not going to be any skipped frames or anything, which is part of the concern that we had before. So it doesn't need to be 59.64 or whatever uh, that it was before. 60 is fine. So this is, uh, and right now it's just caching is why it's taking so long, but there you go. Uh, this is the tutorial. I will always be um, uh, showing people, showing people when I need to convert into an image sequence, which happens in every CG Matter tutorial. So a bit of a, you know, it's basics, but it's important. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did the best way to support me, to support this channel, to keep the videos coming, um, and not having me get a different job is via Patreon. So if you are in a position where you can donate and you'd like to and you have the means to do so, please check out my Patreon. It's greatly appreciated. Although it's not just a donation. You do you do get uh, some stuff for your money. Uh, pretty soon I'm actually going to put a rap exclusive there. But that's just a thing. Anyways, uh, if you want to donate, that is the place to do it. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this free tutorial. Let me go back to the screen. And um, I've been CG Matter. Default cube. You've been you. Bye-bye.